All right, what I have here is a 2015 Ford Transit van. This is a Sherrod conversion company. Uh, conversion. This is a mobility van which has a uh, mobility lift installed, 36,000 miles in the odometer. It's a 2015 model. Uh, we just got it back from an overnight test drive. It is dirty. They brought it back to us covered in mud. I apologize, but I've got to get this video out to an individual and don't have time to send it through the clean process as of right now. So getting started on the front, uh, let's see here. I see a small something or other right there. Um, not sure what that was. The bumper impacted something at some point there. Bugs on the front, but I don't really see any other damage. The hood looks good. A couple little things, but really no damage to speak of there. Tires are in great shape. Running boards are in great shape. Uh, don't really see any issues with the body. Like I said, it could use a bath, but uh, we need to get this video done now. Tan inside power front seats. Again, this is a mobility equipped van, so you do have the uh, lockout here to operate the mobility. The emergency brake would have to be on. Then you have a remote control for the uh, mobility lifted back. So you can see there the 36, 637 on the odometer. It does have steering wheel controls. It does have the small screen up front. Um, it does have your factory radio with CD player. It gives you clearances for all denominations, whether in inches or in meters. Air conditioning. And then in the rear, you do have the sofa bed. You do have the factory high roof, high roof with the factory high roof door. TV looks like it flips down. Uh, that may have been added at some point in the future, change when they did the mobility lift, but it looks like it'll flip down for you. And you have some storage above the driver and passenger up here. All right. Back bumper, I got a little bit of wear back here. Um, some paint is starting to come up off the bumper, as you can see there. Not sure what, how that, how that happened. Okay, we got that there. Whatever that is, not sure exactly. Uh, there are blinds in the rear as well. Looks like they are in great shape. This door. Okay. There is your sofa bed. Looks like there's room under there, but you're not really supposed to get to that part of it. Passenger side, sliding door, which is also unusual for a conversion van. Uh, it is power. And again, if you're wanting to remove the lift, you'd have plenty of room to get in and out, especially with the high roof there. You pull the mercy brake on here. Switch. There we go. Power on. I'll have to look into the left here for you a little bit. Didn't uh, prep this ahead of time. You see the installation here. It does raise the floor for the lift. So you got a little more involved than just unbolting on this one. On the GMCs, they don't add this piece of wood here. So it looks like that's a piece of uh, half inch plywood that's down and then the molding here to trim it and this is the factory step here so looks like there's a brace back here as well that needs to come out you can see that factory step back once that were to go in so looks like this 
carriage bolts that lag it to the floor and lag it to the floor under there. So you got, it looks like eight bolts holding the unit itself to the frame and then it lifts out as a unit that you can remove this if you wanted to or modify that somehow. It's functional in case you want to remove it from the van. Put the seats back. So there's a bump on the mirror that you want to see. For that, the van's in good shape. It runs, it runs out nice. Nice and smooth. Shift's good. I just took it down the road. If I can interest you further or answer more questions, let me know. 937 40 5793.